Hello all, welcome to NKR Academy. I am Cyan and in this video I will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to upload files using FTP on site ground using FileZilla FTP client. To briefly introduce myself, we run a digital marketing agency where we provide web design services to clients across the globe. We use SiteGround as preferred web hosting service for all our clients for its reliability, availability, backup services, and amazing customer support. I will be showing you how to upload files using FTP on WordPress using SiteGround cPanel application. However, you can use this on any web hosting as the cPanel application is similar in all popular web host. This is particularly useful if you want to upload any new plugin or theme or use for website migration from one web hosting to another web hosting server. Also, FTP is useful if you want to recover your website from hacker's attack or any malicious attack as you would like to restore your website by uploading a backup file using FTP. In order to upload files to your web server from your laptop or desktop, you would need the following five components. 1. FTP Server. You will get the FTP server details from your web host. Here I will show you how I can get this. 2. FTP User. You will need to set up your FTP user to connect to your FTP server. I will show you how to accomplish this. 3. FTP Password. You will need to set up your FTP password to connect to your FTP server. I will show you how to accomplish this. 4. FTP Port. You will need to set up your FTP port on your web host to connect to your FTP server. I will show you how to accomplish this. 5. FTP Client Download and Setup. You would need to download a FTP client on your desktop or laptop using which you can connect to the FTP server of your web host to upload files. We do strongly recommend SiteGround as SiteGround is WordPress preferred web hosting partner. We strongly recommend you watch this video till the end as we will be revealing our amazing bonuses worth $750 if you happen to pick up SiteGround using our link. Hello and a warm welcome to another session on web development. Today our main agenda will be FTP and why is FTP required if you are uh, in WordPress web development arena. So. Uh, the newbies who are new to WordPress would uh, feel that what is the need to do FTP when we can do everything from the front end, right? Uh, plugins, themes, everything can be done from the front end itself. So why do you need FTP in the first place? The answer is very simple. Sometimes what happens is uh, due to incompatibility between different plugins or maybe some malicious plugins. What happens is your front end gets entirely corrupted. The gurus of uh, WordPress would know this. Uh, may, they may have faced such issues or they may face it sometimes. So in order to debug those problems, in order to fix those problems, you need to eradicate that plugin. Now once you are not being able to access the front end itself, how can you eradicate that problem? For that you need to enter into the server, right? You have to enter into the file space of the server and delete that file physically. And that is only possible through FTP. What is FTP? FTP is File Transfer Protocol and that is widely used when we try to transfer files, physical files from one network to another network, okay, over the internet. So that is why FTP is required. So guys, this is a very essential thing that I'm going to show you today. Um, it will basically consist of a few parts and I will guide you step by step what to do so you need not worry just keep it handy with yourself maybe not now but uh, sometimes in your career you will require this knowledge right so for this first we need to install a FTP client in your desktop or your laptop right so just follow with me open a chrome extension any new app and then in that tab, uh, you can write FTP client. For this demonstration purpose, I will use FileZilla. Okay. Okay, there is coming fly, FileZilla client, right? So, I will just click on that. Okay. 
Okay, now here you can see download FileZilla client for Windows 64 bit. Since my machine is on Windows, I will open this. Upon opening, you can see here that Windows 64 bit, here is the download link. So I will just click on this link. And upon here, I will click on download. So the moment I click, you can see here the downloading has started. Okay, and uh, it will take a few seconds to get downloaded. Okay, it has been downloaded now. Fine. So next step what we need to do is we need to install the same, right? So let us go to the folder containing this download. Okay, it's opening. Okay, so here it is, right? So what we need to do is right click, run as administrator. Sometimes there are admins required, so that you need to manage in your own PC. Give it the permission. As with all software, we need to agree with the license agreement. And uh, you can see that it will take a brief moment, so we have to allow that, okay. Okay, anyone who uses this computer, if it's your personal computer, then you can do this. Otherwise, you can do this for yourself only. That again depends on you. Just click on this desktop icon so that the shortcut is created. Okay, it will be by default in, installed in its path. Okay. So the Chromium browser will come with it. You can accept or not accept. That's up to you. I am just accepting it. Okay. Okay. So you can see it's getting installed. Okay, so start FileZilla now. Okay, so there is the we have got, okay. So there is the FileZilla that has opened and uh, you can see here that within file I can go to site manager and within this I can add a site. Now for adding a site I will require a few information like the host, what is the port number, the user ID, the password, all this. I will require okay so I need to have that from my hosting provider okay so now let me show you how to do that so if I go back to my initial presentation until now we have discussed why FTP is required and how to install FTP client on your desktop or laptop, right? This we have done in our case, the client name is FileZilla, right? File we have used, it's a free one. So no issues. Okay, next step we will show you how to configure the FTP server now we have done the ftp client now we need to get the ftp server configured from the web host in our case which is siteground right as we have already said since siteground is our preferred partner hosting partner for our all web development applications that we have developed so far across the globe we really trust on siteground because of its 
up time uh, very good speed which helps us in better SEO ranking and at the same time it has a very good chat support as a support team as well so I really think that uh, you can use SiteGround as your preferred hosting partner as well and in fact WordPress also uh, prefers SiteGround as its most preferred web hosting partner so anyways now you can find the uh, link of SiteGround in the description link below. Okay. From there, you will also get a special discount from SiteGround if you follow our link. Anyways, so uh, let us go back to the FTP server detail. Now here I am in within my SiteGround login. Once you have purchased a SiteGround account, you will get this uh, login screen. Within this, go to my account. You need to navigate to control panel. Go to control panel. Okay, once the control panel is loaded, okay, you can go back. You can go scroll downwards and downwards until you get this files sections. Okay, within this files section, you can find this FTP accounts. Okay, just click on it. FTP accounts. Okay. Here you can enter into a new uh, FTP account details. Here are my already existing accounts. I am not going into it. I will uh, create a uh, account right now. Tutorial. Okay. At the rate nkracademy.com. Okay. Password I am giving in. You can choose your password. Okay. Okay. So here you can also limit the uh, size that you want this account to be associated with. Or if you want it to be unlimited, then you can do this unlimited. Just remember one thing while doing this, specify the directory as public HTML. So by default, whenever I create a login, this path comes in as default public html slash that login user id so i need to remove that okay okay fine so it it becomes public html right okay so create ftp account okay account created tutorial fine Okay, now I will show you how using this account I can maintain a connection. So I have configured my FTP server, right? So this step has also been done. Now we need to establish a stable connection. Okay. So to do that, we need to again open the FileZilla. Okay, so now click on file, then click on site manager and click on new site. On this new site, you enter, enter it as anything you want, right? Uh, the connection name by which you want it to be remembered. So I am placing here this, okay? Now the host will always be for site ground, it will be ftp.yourdomain. Whatever it, it's your domain is right the port will always be 21 okay what will be the user the user will be the one that i have created right now tutorial dot nkr academy sorry tutorial at the rate nkr academy dot com and the password will be the one that you had given there okay now hit the connect button. Okay. Okay. So here you can see that I have successfully connected with my web server. And here are the different uh, subdomains which are created as folders 
uh, as I have already told you that I will use that SiteGround tutorial dot dot com for all my demonstration purposes. So just let me find it out. Uh, okay, here it is SiteGround tutorial. Okay. 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 So within that, I need to go to WP content. Okay, here I can see that plugin themes everything is there. So uh, in my previous tutorial, I had shown you how to enforce SSL using a plugin. So that plugin should be available, right? Let us see. Yes, it is really simple. SSL is available. Okay. So if I if in any chance suppose this file got corrupted and the entire front end got crashed. In that case, I can delete it from here and restore my site. Okay. That is the real power of FTP. Okay. So, I, what I have promised, I have already proceeded to step number four. Right. I am able to connect my server and my client. Now, I will show you a transfer. And I will also install plugin and themes using FTP. So how to do that? Okay. For that, uh, what you can do is like uh, open your browser and uh, download any uh, good plugin. Maybe say Elementor. Okay. Elementor plugin download always do that from wordpress.org okay okay wordpress.org plugin selimenter okay okay so i will download this now Okay, done. Fine. Next, as I had already told you that I will install a plugin and a theme as well. So let us go for the best available theme, Astra. I will show you the Astra free one here. But remember, if you buy SiteGround using our link, we are going to provide you Astra Pro as a bonus as well. Okay. Uh, Astra has many ready-made websites just plug and play you can uh, means overnight you can start a digital marketing agency once you own this right so anyways uh, the uh, wordpress.org as I already told you always try to download from there okay so I will hit the download Okay, so as you can see that I have already downloaded Astra and I have already downloaded Elementor. Now these two are in my local machine. Okay, now what I want is that I will use backend FTP and this theme and this plugin will be available here within the installed plugins. If I can... I, I will show you now. It doesn't contain any Elementor, right? Okay. Also, if I go for themes, then the themes also does not contain Astra right now, right? Okay. What I can do is from here, I can do add new. De definitely, I can. But uh, today, my class is on FTP. So, I will show you how to do it using FTP. Okay. Okay. So I will come to downloads as I have already said that Astra and Elementor, these two I have downloaded, right? So I will copy them, copy and I will paste them in a organized manner, training site ground, okay, within here I will paste okay done so the plugin and the theme both are now residing within this path 
so now i will this is my local site this is my remote site right so within g drive i have done it so within g i will go to nkr academy find then within nkr academy i will go to training training find and within training i will go to site ground review and within site ground review here it is astra and here is elementor okay so astra right click click upload okay make sure that whatever you are uploading is in the perfect position means within plugins you need to upload the plugin within themes you need to upload the themes just simple so now currently i am within plugins so i will upload the elementor here okay so i'll just click on right click and click upload and you can see the progress over here okay elementor has been transferred okay so now uh, we will go to themes as i already said so within themes you can see here that there is no astra right so i will click on astra click right click and click up, upload and here you can see that it uploaded okay transfer finished okay now there you will think that it's done but uh, just to show you it's still not done we need one more fine step to be done okay now let me show you plugins if i go to plugins the installed plugin does it contain elementor no right also if i go to themes does it contain astra no it doesn't right so to do that we need to perform one last step we need to again go to our control panel c panel home within c panel we need to go to the file manager within files files file manager right click on that okay click on the web root as it is already and hit go okay now it's it's looking quite the same as it was during ftp right because we have landed inside the public html okay now within that let us find out the place where we installed it site ground tutorial right now within this come to this folder sign and double click okay within that again we need to go to wp content again double click within that within plugins right double click so here we are getting elementor right but see the permission here is different than the rest and that's why it was not showing up right so what we need to do is right click and hit extract extract files make sure this path is within the plugin it is by in default because you are extracting right there still it is better to have a cross check okay so just hit the extract files close and if you go one level up you can go to themes in the same way within themes you can find astra in the same way right click hit extract extract files okay so here you can see it has been extracted okay so hit the close so from the back end i have what i have done is that i have uh, transferred the two zip files to their respective locations and extracted them right so from the back end i have done all the things that is required to install the plugin and the theme now all we need to do is go to the front end and activate the same so i will again show you so let us go to the front end okay here i am 
So let us check whether the plugin is, has been available or not. So I will go to the installed plugin. Here you are, Elementor. It is there. We need just to click the activate. Okay. As simple as that. So here it is. It has been activated, right? So now the next step is uh, we have to check whether the theme has been installed or not. So we we'll go to the themes. And there you are, Astra. You can activate this as well. So that I will show in another demo how you can use Astra to build your dream site within a few minutes. Uh, but again, that's for another day. So today your tech tip was how you can use FTP to manage your themes, plugins and any files. Actually, what happens is that when we need to migrate a site, from one hosting to another or maybe from uh, one domain to another we need all the physical files to be transferred right and that is not possible from the front end so whoever right now is thinking that what the need is I, I can I could have done this by front end yes you could have done this but you could not do that right so I was just explaining you with a simple example how FTP works how to set up your FTP and once you are done with this just wait for my next tutorial where I will show you how to migrate a full-fledged website from one place to another without having any impact on the site's data performance or look and feel and anything for that right again the performance will depend on the new hosting if you are changing your hosting provider, right? Say SiteGround is a lot faster than a lot other hosting providers out there. So that I can't do anything with. But uh, yeah, the speed remaining constant, the website speed will not change, right? So stay tuned for that and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, this will make you feel a little better, right? So. As I had promised, by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to migrate any file you want from your local machine to directly the web server that you are using, right? Be it anything, SiteGround or whatever you have, doesn't matter. So the web hosting, you can easily transfer files to from your local machine. So guys, thank you. If you really like this tutorial, then please uh, hit the like button and share it as much as possible and also subscribe to our channel so that uh, we get a little more enthusiastic on making this type of videos and uh, you also don't miss out on any such tech tips because we do often update our tech tips and we stay updated with whatever is happening in the WordPress region. So guys, until then, our next video, keep watching, keep learning, and stay ahead of your competition. Thank you. Bye. So, I just hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to get similar tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will also be giving you free bonuses worth $750 if you do decide to purchase SiteGround web hosting using the link provided in the description of this video. As a bonus for picking up SiteGround through the link provided in the description of the video, I will give you Bonus number 1 Access to Astra Pro WordPress Theme This is world's number one professional WordPress theme and you will get free access to Astra Pro as a bonus. Bonus number 2 Access to Elementor Pro WordPress Page Builder Plugin this is world's number one professional WordPress page builder plugin and you will get free access to Elementor Pro as a bonus. Bonus number three access to Vidictive 2.0 which is a cloud-based SaaS app that helps you to create amazing video ads in any business niche like restaurants, lawyers, car dealers, any business you can imagine under the sun. Bonus number 4 access to VidElegence 2.0 which is a cloud-based SaaS app that helps you to create amazing videos for e-commerce. Bonus number 5 access to Story 2.0 which is a cloud-based SaaS app that helps you to create amazing Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat story video. In order to get all these bonuses, just follow these simple steps. 
Step 1 Get site ground using the link provided in the description of this video. Step 2 Send your purchase receipt to nkracademywb at gmail.com. In case of any query, please comment below in the video.